guys welcome back to my channel so today we are actually going to be doing my cash envelope stuffing for my everyday spending wallet yeah i flip my wallets back and forth i don't like using the same one all the time because i don't like all the wear and tear on it so you get what i'm saying all right because i know you were saying like i know you had the pink wallet now you got this wallet but it's all good all right so remember that i did do my paycheck budget and i wanted to just focus on that because I was doing a one month ahead and I took that cash from my 52 week savings challenge that I finished. So now in my mind, I'm thinking, yo, these challenges, I am actually going to be using those to try to get ahead of things that I need to pay. So that all worked out. And now I'm like, all right, I see it. <laughs> I see it. So today we are going to be focusing on just stuffing my cash wallet. Um, and we already saw exactly what I was stuffing as it says it right here. All right, so we're going to actually do $295. So let's go ahead. I am actually going to be, let's see, because I really don't need my book. Well, let's just do it like this. We'll do it this way so you guys can see it too. I think we should have enough room. All right, so we're going to be stuffing my wallet and I just put my cash actually in here because um, I didn't have too much cash. So I just put it there. All right, so today we're supposed to be stuffing $299. So let's go ahead and count our cash to make sure that's what we have. Let me stick that there. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40. So that 240. 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. And I don't know why I actually <laughs> counted that like that, like counted it, put it in there, counted it, put it in there. I don't know. Well, all that matters is that we had 299. Um, and oh gosh, y'all, let me show you this real quick. Isn't this, y'all know I love Hello Kitty. I found this in one of those little treasure places. I know this has nothing to do with budgeting, but yeah, this is, is it that the cutest? I'm thinking about, um, I know, I'm all off subject, ain't it? I'm thinking about doing the um, dividers, just cutting them here so that I can like take them out and remove them and put them ever, wherever I want to put them because they're pretty much like a miler. No, not a miler, like a PVC plastic. Yeah, isn't that cute? Okay, all right, I just want to show you that. Oh yeah, and the tabs, you see that? I love Kawahi stuff. So. Now back to what we were doing. Okay, all right, so we have gas. And gas, we already have $30. And I did get a lot of questions on what type of pen this is. This is an Energel um, cleaner. And I do have this linked in my Amazon storefront. Um, this pen writes so good. So for you guys that messaged me and asked me what type of pen this is, that's what it is, okay? <laughs> All right, so for gas, we have $30. And I don't put a lot in gas all the time because I do um, weekly cash stuffings now so that if I need extra cash in my gas envelope, I will actually put that in there. So we're gonna do $60, so we're gonna do 320s. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Um, and gas is, gas is not too bad. And I have been actually utilizing my um, reward points from Kroger so if you have like a grocery store that give you points on gas because the gas something you need and the groceries is something that you always buy and if it's a store that you always go to that you can budget and get your groceries at a good price why not do that use the points and sometimes I'll have like 40 cents off or like 50 cents off and then they do ask you if you want to take off if you only want to do 10 cents off or if you only want to do 30 cents off if you only want to do 20 cents off you can pick and break it up which is i think is pretty awesome all right for giving we have 5 10 11 12 13 14 so we have 14 for giving and we're going to actually do four dollars so we're going to do um one two and two ones i know it's kind of weird right so 10 11 12 13 14 um okay so we're going to do four dollars so we got one two all mixed up for this all right, so all right this will make us have eighteen dollars all right so we're gonna do eighteen and like I said I do my unstuffings on my TikTok and my Instagram 
I'll try to put them on my YouTube short so you guys can kind of see because I know some of you guys say you don't have TikTok, you don't have Instagram. So I have to make sure I keep that in mind so that I can, you know, for everybody. Okay, so next we're going to do Aiden. Aiden's money, I've already moved it into his savings binder. And like I said, that's what I do with my unstuffing. People say, why do you unstuff your wallet? Makes no sense to me. Unstuffing my wallet, number one, it helps me see exactly what I have left, what I have spent. And it also tells me how much I need to put for my next cash stuffing. Because just say like if I did, I put $25 for gas and I needed $40 in gas. So that's like saying, hey, Tina, um, the $25 is not kicking it. So you need to, you know, at least put 50 bucks in there so you can at least have some um, just in case if something happens. So that's why I like to record what I have left and I like to do unstuffing. So that makes it a little bit easier for me to kind of figure out my budget because your budget is always changing. All right. So Aiden, we don't have anything in there. So we are actually going to be adding $15. We're going to do a 10 and a five. And most of the time when... He sees something in the store. Most of the time, I take it out of my personal money. I don't even really spend it. <laughs> but I like to have it here so I can say, Aiden, you have cash in your envelope. So he'll be like, how much is in my money, mommy? Please. And I'll be like, well, you have this much. So it's kind of like teaching him. But, you know, you know how it goes. It's good to start early. All right. So um, $15. So Chris, which everybody always asks me, what is Chris? That's crazy. You have an envelope for Chris. They say, is it chips? It's not chips it's a salad place so we're gonna do five dollars and this is what i use because i say with budgeting and meeting milestones and goals i think you should always reward yourself so i reward myself with a salad which the salad is like scrape bomb or i reward myself with um boba tea now for the boba i do get the packs from sam's they do have it um the brown sugar one but there is a boba truck that is local that sells the fruit ones they're like the little is it patokia balls i don't know what it is it's the little balls like they when you put it in your mouth it pops it's like a burst of fruit or whatever whatnot yeah all right so we got 5 10 15 so we got 15 dollars. so we have 10 and then we got 15 yeah so that's what that's why i have a chris envelope i know sometimes people be like that's just people be like that's just ridiculous i'm like Come on, y'all. This is I'm I'm trying to budget here. I'm trying to reward myself, trying to encourage myself. So we got boba tea. So that's 10, 15 that we have left, and we're adding five dollars. So that will make us have twenty dollars. Okay, so now for the good one, groceries. Woo. So for groceries, we are going a little bit bigger because you know usually I'll do like a hundred dollars like uh, maybe like 120 so this time for groceries we don't have anything in there and groceries um y'all i tore my book up i got white out all on this because i couldn't figure out what i was going to do swap it flipped it <laughs> did whatever all right so we're going to actually add 162 groceries because i have a lot to get um because i want to try to stop eating out and try to eat a little bit better but everything is pretty much gone up that's just the way life is. So that's why I budget so that I can prepare and be ready. All right, so we're gonna do 160. So we got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, and we need one more 20, 60. So um, has anybody, well, I guess maybe this might be a stupid question. Has everybody's grocery bill went up? And I'm sure everybody's gonna pretty much be like, why are you asking? <laughs> because, uh, duh, yes. It's everything is expensive and plus the eggs. Oh my goodness. My mom asked me to stop and get her some eggs. Tell me why I got two cartons of the 12 count eggs and I had to give them. I know my mom's always like, I'll just, I'll give it, I'll give it back to you when you get here. Just, I'll give it, just please, can you just stop and get it for me? She always say like that. I'll, I'll fix you up when you get here, but I'm not worried about it. But, um, but usually when I go in there, I have to like duck and dodge her and she just gives it back to me. And it's just like, I just take it because it's like, it's, she's like, if you don't take that money then, and I know I got to come back there the next week and then she's going to, so I just, just to keep the peace, I just, I just take it and I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. But then I'll just go and grab them something and be like, no, I wanted to do it. So that way I can kind of pretty much kind of giving it back to her, but she doesn't know, but I don't know. So that's the way I, I, um not take it but yeah it was like ten dollars and like 
75 cents. I was like, what in the world? I was like, this is crazy. All right, so, oh, we didn't do personal. I'm skipping personal. All right, so personal, you know that with my 1K challenge, I did give myself $100 for completing that challenge. Um, and then, yeah. So that's why I still have this money here and I need to put, all right, so we're just gonna add $10 to my personal. Let's see how much we have. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. So we got $81. And then um, I am actually going to take out these ones and put this in my $1 drawer. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're taking away $6, y'all. I'm not trying to do no hard math. 81, <laughs> y'all probably like, Tina, really that's 75 dollars all right so 75 and then we're going to add 10 dollars to that so we're going to do no let's i got two fives let me get this right so we got two fives i'm right, gonna put that there so minus seven so that'll give us 75 so that'll give us we should have 85 dollars in there let me check all right so i'm going to take this jar uh, six did I do? Wait, 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 wait. No, I think I might have towed something up. Oh, this is minus. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -mm. Minus six dollars. Hold on. Y'all see my bloopers? Oh no, that's right. Seven seventy-five. I just wrote it wrong. So this is minus six dollars. So that's right. Wait. So we should have eighty-five. So we got 20, 30, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. Yep. Look at this tape. Maybe, let me see. All right, let me just, I think I have some money in bank run that I gotta take back. Yeah, I'm gonna take this five from here, put this raggedy five back in here. Look at this. Oh, tape, I don't even know why it's taped. There, it's not ripped or anything. So I'm just gonna put that back in there. So that way when I take it to the bank, I can just take that back. All right, let me repeat the five here. So that'll go there. Okay, so next we have household. Household, I do have to get trash bags. I do have a sinking fund that says maintenance. That's pretty much like stuff like outside the house. Um, but I'm actually going to take the, because we have, what it is is that we have like trash bags that we um, can pay for. They come like 10 in a, is it 10 in a pack or five in a pack? I can't remember because I don't normally get them all the time, but it's always good to have them at the house. So just in case if you have too much trash that goes into your trash can, which they do put $10 um, fee on our Woda bill to make up for the trash so we don't get stickers. I think it was because people weren't getting like the trash stickers. So I guess this is a way to make sure that everybody, but it kind of like sucks because if people have other type of um, trash removals that they have, that we have, we have other companies that do trash. So if they have that, they have a loader bill, they still have to pay the $10. So that's a little, eh, a little bit, eh, I, don't, I don't know, I don't like that, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. But, um, so I just like to have the bags here. So just in case if we do have extra trash, because if your trash is up above the trash can, they don't pick it up, they'll drive right on by it. Yeah, so, um, and the trash cans aren't that big. So um, we're gonna do $30 for that. And I think, oh yeah, and then I need to get trash bags also. So I always go to Sam's to get that. So that's why I like to keep household a little bit separate because household products and stuff like that is pretty expensive. So um, we are going to have to go to Sam's to go get to go get that. Did I do that right? Yeah, 20 and 10. All right, so um, eat out. We I'm, a, I'm just gonna do $10 for eat out. Like I said, I put a little bit more for groceries because we need to start eating a little bit better because we're doing too much. All right, so $10 and then Dollar Tree, we're not putting anything in here. So we got eat out. Yeah, y'all not putting anything in Dollar Tree. Can y'all believe that? Yeah, and then I need to, um, I don't have any receipts. Can y'all believe this? Because I already scanned all my receipts for Fetch Rewards, which is awesome. So that is all for our cash spending wallet. So let's go ahead and add up these numbers. So we got 30, 14, 10, 15, 81. So we got 150 here. And then we got 90 plus 18 plus 15 plus 15 plus 20 plus 160 plus 85 plus 30 plus 10. 
we got 443 all right guys so this is all of our cash envelope stuffing so hopefully you stuff your cash envelope wallet with me so um i just basically do these videos guys so you can kind of see how i'm doing it i'm not a financial advisor or anything like that but i just want to take you on my journey to show you how i actually stuff my cash envelopes and how i make it because everything is going up everything has went up <laughs> everything has been up so thank you guys so much for chilling with me and like i said if you have not already follow me on my instagram and my tiktok please hop over there um to check it out and i will have the big a5 binders coming out sometime next week i will post and i'm gonna make sure i post here too i don't keep reminding myself um but it's kind of hard having like three four social medias and a website it's kind of hard kind of trying to do everything but yeah so thank you so much for chilling with me and until next time guys peace